Hi everybody. <laughs> okay, so new thing going on. I feel like I need to share this. I need to come up online and say something and share ideas about how we can be safe. Um and given the situation we're facing right now. We need to get down to the basics. We need to focus on thorough infection control, standard precaution, good hand and eye hygiene, like f safe food practices. We need to have a close contact with um, people that are showing symptoms of coughing and sneezing. Um, we need to use the right proper techniques. Uh, no shortcuts. Like if you need to wash your hands, wash your hands. If you have hand sanitizer close to you, use them. Now to the healthcare providers. Coronavirus. That's what I'm talking about. Coronavirus is not just one virus. It's like a group of viruses. Nobody knows anything about how to care for this virus right now the only these viruses are believed to serve from animals and then now human beings so having them um so it's easily transferable like to another person and it's and the symptoms are pretty close to the normal cold symptoms so like you just feel like you have flu and you're sick and you feel like you're gonna be all right but then it might be something more than what you're thinking most of the symptoms to watch out for right now according to cdc is um uh, respiratory failure shortness of breath cold symptoms coughing throat sore uh, sometimes fever running nose body aches and sometimes severe uh, situations pneumonia kidney failure even death people have died in china people have died and it's a serious thing and we have people have spread these viruses to other people in healthcare settings that's the reason that i'm really bothered about this like we need to be cautious we need to be concerned it's a big deal we need to take care of ourselves so we can take care of the patients. How does this virus is spread? The virus is spread through coming in contact with an infected person's uh, respiratory secretions, like uh, with the patient cough or sneeze. Uh, the second case of this virus has been reported in Chicago is uh, really bothering and is really concerning. Um, investigation is still on with other 20 something like 28 people they're trying to watch out for and test them out and make sure they're fine and nothing is wrong with them um, over 900 cases reported in China 41 already so nurses when we do our assessments with the new admission or with any patient probably the Patient, uh, the nurse that did the, uh, pre the admission assessment forgot to ask this question. Like, you have to remember to ask your patient, have you recently traveled out of the country? Have you been to China, Wuhan in China, whatever? Like, you need to ask for yourself. DC also asks that if you recently traveled out of the country or you have an interview, you have close contact with an individual that has symptoms or is diagnosed with this virus, one of these viruses, uh, should please go to that, uh, go to their healthcare providers first to be assessed before you go to the, a public hospital because you don't want to spread this virus to like uh, in a public place. You want we want to contain this virus as much as we as can. At the time of this post, no virus specific treatment has been known to cure these viruses but supportive um care to manage symptoms um no approved vaccines either so it's it's a very so the policy of my hospital is to make sure that i'm perfectly protected regardless so if I feel like my patient has something and 
the test result is not out yet i can protect myself as much as i can if i feel like my patient needs something like i need to gown up from top to bottom the hospital policy says go ahead and do that to protect yourself so depending on your facility uh, protocol i I as a nurse, I'm gonna do history collection, thorough history collection, thorough physical assessment, vital signs to rule out fever, chest x-ray for a new admission. I'm gonna make sure the patient has blood tests done to rule out, make sure the CBC is not low, and make sure the patient doesn't have any respiratory issues. If they do have all these symptoms, if they have symptoms that is making me feel like they have anything that is going to put me into trouble or put other patients into situation that I have to give them something they didn't come in with. Trust me, they're getting all these tests. And I'm gowning all the way up. Like, I'm going to protect myself as much as I can and make sure other patients are safe. Uh, with other caregivers, with other team members, I'm gonna make sure everybody is aware of the patient's situation and they need to be saved too. That's how I feel. And but then, it depends on your hospital protocol and depends on you. So, I'm sending this message out. I'm posting this because I feel concerned and I feel like, um, remember, put on your mask every time wear your gloves wash your hands please be safe out there thank you so much for watching bye bye